Today in the Boot Guy, we are looking at the Sport Western Boot by Area. So what's the deal with the Sport Western boot? Well, it's like an introduction boot. If you've never worn Western footwear and you're looking to get a pair of boots, but when you go to a Western shop, it's pretty overwhelming. Just all the different varieties, fits, leathers, exotics, stuff like that. If you're just looking to get a pair of these on your feet and get something that's gonna be comfortable, this Sport Western boot is probably the best way to go. Now I realize that's a bold statement, but that statement is based in logic. Since most Western boots, most high-end Western boots are gonna come with a leather sole, they're kind of impractical to be your first pair if you're not used to walking around in leather soles. Though the leather soles hold up, if you're not used to it, it's just going to be uncomfortable. We're off with the Sport Western sole. It's a rubber sole, so you're gonna get grip and traction. You're not gonna be walking in and out of some fancy restaurant with your wife or your girlfriend and slip and fall on your butt going from surface to surface. A nice rubber sole works out really well for your first pair. Now my other reason for saying it is because they really built this in a general fit. Though they took a lot of characteristics from real western boots, they also added a lot of things that you'll find in a work boot. And it would make a great work boot. Now I'm not going to say you should go kick shovels or anything with it, but just kind of walking around, kind of doing your job, where it's not really heavy duty construction, it is a really nice work boot. Now the classification on this is WST, which stands for wide square toe. And what's nice about a wide square toe is it gives everybody the chance to get on a pair of these and you don't feel like your foot is completely crammed inside that boot. We're off with pointy toed Western boots. Well, they're pointy toed. So all of that is forcing your foot into a point. Now most of us, if we're coming from wearing work boots, if we're coming from wearing other types of shoes, even sneakers, we're not used to pointy tip shoes. So having a wide square toe, having a rubber sole. Now the construction of the boot, well, it's top notch, it's area, and they understand how to build Western footwear. And even when they're gonna step it back a little bit, when they're gonna build something that's a little bit more of a price point boot, they're still doing a good job at it. They don't sacrifice the things that make area special, like the way they build this shank section. They're not giving this into a big flat section. They're actually drawing it in. They're giving you that real gripping Western feel. The heel cup is the perfect type of Western heel cup. At first it's gonna feel loose, but as you break this thing in, this heel cup's gonna suck up around your Achilles and your heel, and it's gonna become part of you. Now inside the boot, what you're gonna find is a 4LR insole. Very basic, very simple urethane insole. Now, Aerith has all kinds of other insoles, replacement insoles, if you want something that's a little bit more bouncy or kind of closer to a work boot or a gym shoe. But starting out with these two things, putting them together, it's a really nice place to start if it's your intro to Western footwear. Now, underneath this, what you're going to find is a hard footboard with a nailed heel. Now, the hard footboard, I always mention this, it's really important for guys who have orthotics. But at the same time, when it comes to a Western boot, having a really nice hard footboard might seem a little hard. It might seem like something that's not going to be comfortable. Now, once you break that down, your foot forms to that hard footboard, using the insole that comes with it, this boot is going to be comfortable beyond belief because that hard footboard is going to take on all the characteristics of your foot inside the boot. Now something we got to talk about is the inside lining. It's a beautiful mesh lining and as you run your hand down inside there, you're going to feel a really nice soft heel cup. That soft heel cup and that mesh lining is going to make this boot a little bit more user friendly to a new western boot wearer. Also, it's a little bit wider shaft, so it's gonna come on and off much easier. Not really tight like some high-end Western boots. They have really tight shafts. This, it's a really nice loose shaft. One more selling point about it is it's only 11 inches. This is a short shaft. In comparison to some Western boots out there, this is a very short shaft. So what that means, 
on and off really, really easy. Now about the size and the fit, I gotta say the boot is exceptionally comfortable and Eric was really trying to do that. They didn't wanna take people too far away from what they're used to wearing, whether it's work boots or gym shoes or casual shoes. If somebody's gonna break into a boot like this, it's gotta feel familiar. All those characteristics, the softness, the sizing, the fitting, all of that's really important when it comes to buying your first pair. And having that wide square toe, really opens up that hole inside of the boot. So that if somebody does come from wearing steel toe work boots, having this space is gonna feel really, really comfortable. So that's the Ariat Sport Western Boot, wide square toe in a beautiful brown leather. Hey, if you're currently wearing a pair of Ariat Sport Western Boots, or if you have worn Western Boots in the past, or if you're wearing them now, and you have any advice for guys who are gonna buy their first pair, please comment below. Just give them a few heads up on things to look for and things that they should feel when they put these boots on for the first time. Hey, if you're interested in knowing more about the Sport Western boot, about what the materials are, about the actual heights and the weights of the boot, please swing by to bootguy.com. There I'll have a blog post entitled Area Sport Western Boots and all that information will be there for you. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And remember, if you're interested, you can always follow me at Instagram and Twitter. Hey, if you're about to pull the trigger on ordering a pair of these and you got a few questions that you just need answered, remember you can always shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.